express why we're doing what we're doing. It's all about individuals. You know, we are 99%, but we are also individuals. And I want to hear, I want to get our stories out there, and I want people to be able to relate to us. And because when, because when people relate to us, they will join us. So that's going to be kind of my goal going forward. So if you want to contribute to that in any way or help me out in any way, please let me know. Okay, I, I have a, a question here. I'm kind of uh, at a crossroads here. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if we should do breakouts for committees or set that aside for time, like afterwards. I mean, I, right now I'm interested to see who is. I, I think afterwards, what, what I'm going to propose is that we, we break out afterwards and, and into committees, so that way we don't have this mad scramble right now. So right now I'm going to ask for people who want to head up a committee, who want to chair a committee, and say, I'll be the point person for video, I'll be the point person for whatever, and then people can determine where they want to focus their energy. So right now we have Kate is the point person for the web stuff. We have uh, Kaden is on coffee and snacks. Uh, <laughs> Phil, so far we have Ron and what's your name? Jeff. Jeff? Yes. Okay, and if anybody else wants to be on video with them or if want to take responsibility for uh, film, video, documentarian crew. All right, well, it's you guys for now. <laughs> um, Need donations right now, I guess, too. We'll do a media outreach, like contacting Buffalo News and things like that. Is there anybody here who would like to do specific media work? And your name again? Gene. Gene. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody else got committees that they'd like to see, like legal? Is there anybody who has connections to lawyers, ACLU, uh, UB, or National Lawyers Guild? I have some connections to National Lawyers Guild at, at UB. I can talk to some people. Okay. Great. Well, uh, a ACLU is actually next door to Squeaky Wheels, so he's knocking their door. Okay, awesome. You had a yeah, committee or something? Yeah, I talked with the other people on a lawyer committee about a possible connection I had okay. in terms of a lawyer in Buffalo. And I was going to also say, what about a committee? I think it's really important to flyer the city when we have things going on, so maybe a committee committed to posting um, flyers and brochures and passing around. I can be part of that committee. So, uh, yeah. Okay, you want to, do you want to be point person for outreach? I think, I mean, I think it's going to be up to everybody. Yeah, throw me on there, that's fine. And your name? Robin. Does anybody else want to head up any particular committee that hasn't been mentioned yet? Yeah. The, uh, any sort of artists, your artists, writers, something like that, if you want to talk to me, I want to start the firing, I think is a great thing. Um, but in terms of graphic designers, getting the message out, Artists are really good at that, so come talk to me. We'll start seeing what we can do. We can get these whatever message we decide on. We can get it everywhere. What's your name? Brian. So an arts committee. Arts committee. Yeah. <laughs> arts and outreach. Yeah, uh, arts and outreach. I like that. <laughs> it almost goes with direct action, also. Yeah. yeah, is there anybody that wants to head up a direct action committee to talk about specific things like marches, like sit-ins, like occupations, like specific actions? But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be here next Saturday. I'm going to be away for five days so that you could talk, to, you could get my email and we could talk All by right. email before so then. Albert stepping up on direct action. Neither me or Albert will be here next week. Is there anybody who wants to also jump in on that? I'd like to have the direct action. Right. <laughs> Eric, is it? Yes. All right. Else over here too. Direct action? Yep, Bob. Bob? Yep. Cool. Alright, um there there's a long list of committees that there could be. I mean New York's got about like twenty-three different committees. I mean we're still growing here, so is there anything else that anybody wants to see happen that they want to take on? It seems very big to me because I wouldn't know where to start, but definitely like fundraising. So what is me that? Too. What is it? Fundraising. Like some sort of getting people to, you know, put in on this, you know, because paper costs money and, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's not going to be free, but we can make it happen. Uh, your name? Mindy. So I'm going to call that finance as well. Don't call it finance. Don't call it Wall Street. That's <laughs> no, okay. They have this whole thing in New York. This one woman, Victoria Sobel, is taking care of finance, and they're like scrambling. They're like, it's not intimidating. Don't worry. You're just collecting money, making sure it doesn't disappear. That's, that's really all it is. With finance? Yeah. What's your name? Josh. All right. 
We need liaison to the other group. Is that part of outreach? Is that oh, I'm talking about kind of connected? We're all responsible for that. Yeah, we're all. I mean, if anybody has any connections to church groups, to community groups, to block clubs, to unions, to any kind of group like that, I think that's kind of all of us to make those connections where we can. Like we said, each one bring one. Each one bring five. I, I did. Okay. Um. Is it? Can I just ask? Is anybody going tomorrow to Casanova? I'd like to. Yeah, yeah. 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 Great. It's one to four. One, was it? one to four tomorrow. Okay. Casanova Park. And then I just wonder: Is there anybody documentation like you volunteered? Uh, what's your name? Barbara. So Barbara volunteered to take notes. We have some kind of random scattered notes. Is there anybody else who wants to help out with either taking notes, posting stuff online, just coordinating with documentation? There's going to be a lot of crossover between. Film, web, documenting, it's going to be kind of all together. Also, what I wanted to incorporate was music as well. I know a couple bands yeah. that are trying to fight for the public, but we need musical awareness. Like, the 70s was all about that. Right. Like, we need yes. we need musical awareness. We need people with their guitars, their drums, you doing want whatever they can. You want to do that? Yeah. What's your name? John. Well, I'll do that with you, too. All right, man, cool. There you go. There you go. Good job. Oh. I said this to Kate just now, but I have web space. So if there's stuff like meeting minutes, notes and stuff that we don't necessarily want to put like on YouTube or whatever that we want to make readily accessible, yeah. my hosting package is infinite bandwidth and infinite disk space. So, uh, Good. and it'll be free for us because I, I pay that out of pocket for my own website. Bluehost.com so. by chance? What's that? Bluehost.com by chance? No, actually, I, I got a couple friends who run a hosting company and, yeah. <laughs> 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 sure. I'm not sure if we want to keep going with committees or if people want to move beyond committees right now and talk more about that later. All right. So, yeah, this is a good juncture. I do have a stack still. I do have a stack still of about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or, nine or ten people, or now eight people. Um, so I don't know. I would propose that we actually, uh, unless somebody has something really burning to say, that we break off into committees now. Can I get it? Can I get? I think. I just want to say someone brought up T-shirts before, and if you want to make a cheap T-shirt or a sweater, you can just go to Walmart, buy anything cotton, and just put like a cutout, like cardboard, newspaper, whatever, and just put 99% or anything like that. And if you get a spray bottle with bleach on it, and just spray around it, let it soak in for like two minutes. And then when you take it off, it'll be like the outline of the 99% or whatever you want to write. You can use refrigerator magnets or whatever, but as long as it's cotton, you can make a real nice hoodie, 99% for like 15 bucks. Thrift store. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. So, yeah. You're the only person on my staff right now who hasn't yet said it. So go ahead. Cool. All right. Well, I was talking about making the presence noticed. Um, the biggest things around us are buildings and bridges and things like that. So, Buildings and bridges and things like that, natural resources, um, things like that, instead of just computers and TV and media and stuff like that, the things that we pass the most are the biggest around street us, art. and those are bridges. Huh? Street art. Yeah, street, street art. art. But make it environmentally friendly so we don't get prosecuted for having things that are there that are permanent, like graffiti and things like that. So, Pink banners on the 198 and yeah. they come in. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. They have a stuff does any, sign does on anybody the else side. have something <laughs> burning to say to the entire General Assembly and then it seems like people sort of want to break out into committees? I think we should all rest our mind. I just wanted to know for like flyering because I started to like flyer a tiny bit in like the University Heights off campus area just putting signs on like lampposts but I'm not really familiar with like what's legal and like I don't drive so like I don't have as much like means to like go all over and put flyers up but I definitely want to help with that like if someone could like help me flyer if I could help other people flyer and I want to like get involved and like ask people like Amy's place let me put up a flyer in their restaurant they're great so like that was really cool but just finding places that are willing yeah. to either promote us or let us put signs up that would be really cool because like putting them all outside I mean it's rained and I already saw some of mine are like messed up so yeah, it, that'd be cool. Sure. Because we went to lunch before we came here. As well, about getting stuff on buildings. And then we could have places. Like right in the front. Okay. Like, but 
Just because I'm always there, I'm really close to Amy. <laughs> All right, so we have people. We have you. Doesn't run in the rain. Yeah, these two folks here are interested in flyers. Robin said you're gonna help with that. I think again, outreach is kind of on all of us. Um, anybody who's got access to printers, copy machines, um, and you know, I, I think we can have a breakout after our general assembly, and uh, I'll you know hang up our committee list. People can look at what areas need help, figure out how they want to participate. Do we have a sign-in sheet as well? We don't have a sign-in. Um, email and phone number. We can uh, do that. I don't know who wants to collect yeah. that. Okay, just take a piece of paper. We have a bunch of people already, such as being nonviolent. And um, what I really want to touch on, can we agree on maybe another goal or two for next Saturday, just so we're on the same page as the majority? Such as how many, no, uh, how many people would we like to see here? I have a goal of a couple hundred. I mean, sky's the limit. That's what I'm saying. Everybody can agree at least on a minimal number. We don't have to just achieve that. Obviously, exceed it. Yeah. But can we? Agree on possibly 300 people to start. Is that something that's agreeable on So we have a couple different, we have everybody bring three. We have a, an actual, a hard number of 300. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah. What, I think that, that would just kind of go with guidelines. We don't really have any way to like regulate or, or measure that or anything like yeah. but yeah it's a goal I mean like I think both of those goals so everybody here brings three. 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 three yeah Tim brings yeah. out the fact that the math comes out the same so maybe uh, maybe we could do a quick vote on this like each one person try and bring three people with them does that sound like a reasonable goal to people right. yes yeah. no maybe yeah. so no blocks. I want to bring I don't, see, why not, I don't so. see any blocks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. It seems like we're actually getting into some concrete things here. I'm not sure if there's any other major issues. I would like to push it back over to Stack uh, and see what other topics we have to cover. But I think we made a hell of a lot of progress today and in, in, in just meeting each other, talking this out, figuring out what we're about. Um, I see one concern over here. Uh, I'll let. Uh, is it Matt? I'll let Matt speak, and then I'd like to turn it over to Stack and see what other um, items we got to cover. I just love everyone, man. I just want to say <laughs> this is great. If anybody wants to help with the Facebook page, please step up so it's not you yeah, know, any no, responsibility we can, at we all. We can talk about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're back to Stack. John, you're actually next to Stack. Um, I just want to talk about outreach and going out to people, um, making demonstrations, maybe having groups that will appear in places where actually people are going, like Bills games, sporting events, college events, any event you know for us to have a presence, um, as well to appeal to the people who are holding the event, as well as the people who are part of the event. But people are lazy. And you know we have to go get them. We have to go find them. We know what they feel. So just finding a way to appeal to certain groups and going out to, you know, tea party meeting is going out to any any group that's assembling and anywhere there's people. We need to have a presence at all times. Cool. Eighty thousand people at the Bills game. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Eighty thousand people. Next on stack is Nicholas, but I think he left. Nicholas, not here. Uh, Gene, you're next. Oh, I know what it was. I, I was just thinking that, um, well, I had two points. One is that I was thinking that we should really have a list of supplies. I think a mic here would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, uh, just so far, a right microphone on there yeah. or a bullhorn or something? Um, and if anybody has that that you know can be donated for the cause, that would be great. Because it really is hard to hear. So, so I'll just clarify here. I, I didn't know that was in Buffalo, too. In, in New York State, potentially, there is a ban on um, megaphones, bullhorns. What's been happening in New York is what they call people's mic. Somebody steps up and they say, mic check, and everybody around them says, mic check. And the, the person speaking speaks in about like five or ten words at a time, and the people immediately around them repeat that verbatim in order for the larger crowd to hear. I think we're kind of on the border. We don't quite need it here today, but if we bring people, it's going to get big enough where the people on the other side of the square can't hear us. So that's just something that's there that's available. Uh, I think I'm going to, I would pass on it today, but keep it in mind for the future General Assemblies that we're going to need to pass that information on and we'll do a mic check. Also, I just want to put it out, you know, in, in, the, in the marches, in the protests, in the, in the labor rallies, the solidarity rally with Wisconsin, the labor rallies we have down here, we all use bullhorns and large mics and we've never, 
in all the years I've been doing work in Buffalo, ever had a problem with the police. With so I, I would say I would if you have that, bring it. Let's test. Let's make them not use it first before we just say it's not going to use it. Next on deck is Pat. Yeah. Oh, I have. Um, I have already told him, and if anybody wants to help me with this, I thought we could do an outreach to all of the churches in the area. And specifically the black churches because that's the major population and uh, my I would speak not directly to the congregation but speak to the pastor mm. and make it clear to him that if anybody had an issue with the police to leave their issue home but for them to come I think we need to get that population to be part of this uh, because they're majorly unemployed yeah. the second thing I had wanted to ask about was I don't know about you, but I'm freezing my butt off and my feet are blocks of ice. And maybe next week's gonna be cool or, or warmer, but is there a indoor public place like a, the library or something that where we could have a space to meet that would be big enough? Or something because much larger than the library. Folks. Yeah. Go to buildings, maybe ask the owners if we could use it. What idea. building? Yeah, that would be the fundraiser for the mall. Of it because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. it's it's private the property. <laughs> <laughs> They'll kick you out. Yeah, well, that's why we got to ask the question. Fundraiser I mean, department? Is it possible in like the downtown library? Is that a... They have an auditorium. Yeah. And that perhaps we could... Probably have to pay for the space is the issue. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a tough one. I mean, I think we should consider it, for sure. Well, the, the, the question, for anybody who can't hear, the, the thi we're just thinking about, is there an indoor location in Buffalo, around here, that could host a lot of people, that would be easy? <laughs> inexpensive or free? Yeah, free or extremely inexpensive. Or extremely free? Extremely <laughs> free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we have a, a stack going yeah, here? three more folks. Do you want to be added to stack, Andre? Um, are we doing a mini stack on that, or are we on a bigger uh, stack? So? No, I think that, was, that wasn't a resolution, it was okay. just a general yeah, statement. Well, then we're, well, then we're uh, Ed well, is next on stack. Ed, are you still here? Live stream yeah. uh, no. Okay, somebody's got to okay. set that up. Johnny, you're well, next. That that means with the chat room, okay. that's kind of the best way. Yeah. Pretty much what I want to say is that I think it's so amazing that something is actually occurring in Buffalo. And I'm so thankful for everybody to come out here and speak your voice, because I believe so many people are afraid to do so. And what we really need to do is let everybody know it's okay. We have the entitlement to speak. We need to stick together. We need to speak together. We just have to have unity and harmony. We have to be nonviolent. I believe those are a lot of things you already touched on. But as my conclusion in my speech, I just I just want to thank everybody here right now because this is where it starts. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to come. And I just want to thank everybody. Thank you for coming today. Before anybody else leaves, we do have a sign-in sheet going here. Please don't come this very second. It seems like we're getting towards the end of the stack and maybe towards the end of today's assembly. Uh, I mean, I do want to cover any other issues, but I know like steam is kind of uh, running out here. So as we finish up, just think about um, taking a look at committees and signing in here to stay in contact. My last two people on stack are Albert and Mindy. Does anybody want to jump on stack now? This is the, your second to last call. What's your name? Will. Will? That all you need is a email and Henry. Uh, yeah, all right, Albert and uh, Anthony, you'll be on stack. Albert, you I are. I just wanted to say I love you all. That was it. <laughs> Mindy, um, I don't want to come across as being a jerk, but I think that we all really need to accept that this is going to be painful. It's going to be a sacrifice. We're going to be cold. We're going to be tired. Our feet are going to hurt. But nothing inspiring. Uh, is ever easy and we need to remember that when things are getting tough we need to hold our ground even more we will get through this we have to be strong we have to show them what poor people are all about and we are Whoa! all about doing this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's all I have to say thanks so I didn't make it to the start of this meeting and I don't exactly know what was said but I get the gist of what's going around and uh, something I wanted to address is that we're here we're gathering together, we're talking about people power, what we can do ourselves to gain, gain our own autonomy. And on that note, something I am very passionate about and learning and growing upon is autonomy and within that urban sustainability. We have to learn how we can make our own power and that can come with growing our own food, that can come with producing our energy, things like that. So something I need we to develop over time is 
workshops, skill shares. We need to get skills so we can start producing our own autonomy and then move forward into the, a place where we can have our own power and say, hey, City Hall, we don't need you anymore. We got us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Urban Sustainability Committee. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, you are next on staff. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know if anybody else has anything to say. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out, for voicing your concerns, for participating. Uh, Marina gave me a list here with uh, items. So I'm just going to read off this list. This is something that we can all bring and help uh, disseminate or use. The outreach committee is going to need this. Things like cardboard, paint, markers, paper, pens, wooden sticks for sign handles, nails, hammers, poster board, tape. We're going to need for weather conditions things like tarps, ponchos, garbage bags. We're going to think about water, dry goods like foods, napkins, plasticware or, or foodware, um, plastic tables, folding tables, you know, things to, to get organized here. Where yeah, I, I would highly recommend that people think about bringing this. Our next meeting is next Saturday, bring October. Bring the, all that stuff here? Yeah, okay. I would say so. October 8th at noon is our next meeting. Right here, right? Right here, right here. same spot. Uh, dry erase boards and dry erase markers, rags, easels. Um, she also has on here a number that if people care to write it, I don't think we'll need it right now. But we should definitely be calling and talking to these people as the National Lawyers Guild. If anybody cares to have the number, 212-679-6018. Do you know if this is... That is the National Lawyers Guild, and that's what they were saying. I got it off the internet. That's what they were told people to call. That's a, But it's a, it's a National Lawyers Guild. There's a, a National Lawyers Guild chapter here as part of UB. They're called the UB Lawyers Guild or the UB chapter of the National Lawyers Guild. Uh, I think Kaden and a few other people said they will try to be getting in contact with them, so we have some legal folks on our side. Um, aside from next week, uh, we had a proposal. I guess I want to I wanna go through with that proposal. Eric said he'll be here on Monday morning with signs. Uh, I just want to see if people want to have a demonstration starting Monday morning to bring their own signs, to print off posters from the Occupy Together website. There are websites that have pre-made posters like The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. Um, you know, if you don't know what's happening, turn off the news and tune into the movement. Things like that. It's, you just print it off, make photocopies. So I want to take a vote and see of who here is interested uh, in participating and advocating Monday morning to have a, a, a demonstration. <clears throat> cool. Well, do we have anybody who, who wants to block that says no? Then uh, I would propose a committee. You know, we'll talk about what it's going to look like Monday morning to start demonstrating and getting this outreach going. Is that uh, Eric with direct action? We're going to lead the, Eric, you're going to lead direct action? Yes. Cool. 9 a.m. Monday morning. Bring supplies and we'll make them together and then we'll talk about what we want to speak about and get some civilians involved. There's going to be thousands of people walking around this square. <laughs> and so I'll just close out by saying thank you so very much. Thank you for letting me just step up and facilitate. I want to bring a book. I want to bring a handbook that, that has guides on how to facilitate, how to deal with conflicting issues, you know, how to keep the process going smoothly, make sure there's a lot of participation. I want everybody to get those skills. Like like Will Gallon said here, we need to make sure that we spread our skills and, and, and don't spread ourselves too thin. You know, burnout is way too common in activism. We really need to make this a broad participatory movement. So thanks you all for coming. Power to the people. people on staff. Woo! There are two more people on staff who has not said anything yet today. So I would like to keep going. If you need to leave, I understand that. Um, but Anthony, did you have uh, some closing comments? Um, I just want to say um, I'm into politics a lot, and I can I can make a list over the week of a lot of issues. And if I can if I can make a good list, can I bring them into the next meeting on that? Next time we meet and we can discuss them amongst the group. Yeah, I mean, if anybody has agenda proposals, I think that that's something that we should open up. There's a lot of political issues. Good morning back here in the black hat. Last night, I made up these little mini zines telling, you know, what's going on, why people are upset and everything, and I thought it'd be, I'm going to scan them in on the computer so that I can put them on Facebook and people can print them out. Yeah. If you want to print them out, hand them out, make your own, anything like that. 
thought it was a really great idea to get people interested in it. Thanks. Um, I'm actually the last person on stack. Does anybody before I does anybody else want to be on stack? This is the last call. Like, for real. Life. Right here, right here. Yeah. Right okay. Um, my quick announcement is that this Wednesday, October 5th, at UB, and actually at universities across the state, public universities across the state, we are walking out and we are teaching in. Woo. So if you are at UB on Wednesday around noon, find us. I think there will be a marching band. Uh, find us. We will ha be having a teach-in around like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in 120 Clemens. So even if you're not a student want to learn about some issues facing the public university system, our faculty want to talk about, about this, um, we are here for you. Um, I'm a founding member of a group called New York Students Rising. And if there's not a chapter at your school, I know ECC and Fredonia, you don't have chapters.